in this video I paired up Magnus Carlsen from the Play Magnus website to Stockfish. However, since we all know Stockfish would demolish Magnus Carlsen, sorry, but it's true, Stockfish is only going to have 10 seconds. And the game that's happened is pretty damn crazy, so stay tuned. The game started with d4, we have d5, and c4, a queen's gambit, and we have a Slav defense from Stockfish, e3, bishop f5, takes, takes, and queen b3, this is all theory, Slav defense theory, queen d7, and here knight f3, knight c6, and knight e5. Here, it's kind of interesting, because Magnus decides to damage, let Stockfish damage his structure by doubling up the pawns, However, according to evaluation, it still has to have completely dodge position, so this is fine. I think it's some kind of a theory, probably. And here, the next move, Stockfish plays a6. It's worth noting that if you don't play a6, if you play something like Knight here or something that's trying to develop, that's a huge blunder, because Magnus would have this pin, the pin of death, winning a queen. So, but Stockfish didn't fall for it, Stockfish instead played a6. 6 preventing it, we have knight c3 and e6, bishop e2, which apparently is an inaccuracy, but who cares, knight d7, castles, knight there. Now we have rook d1, so Magnus decides to sacrifice this pawn, however Stockfish is like, I don't need that pawn, knight a5 instead, <laughs> queen b6 and queen d8 protecting the knight simultaneously offering the trade of the queens magnus takes stockfish takes back we have bishop d2 yes developing and now knights back to c6 yet again targeting the pawn magnus now plays g4 which is a pretty insane looking move stockfish goes back of course pretty much the only move that's good and we have, now we have f4, so Magnus taking a lot of space on the king side, as well as defending this pawn. It's, according to the chess.com computer, it's still a completely joyous position. So this is, yeah, it's good stuff. We have f6, pawn break, Magnus takes, Stockfish takes, and Magnus plays rook a c1, which apparently is an inaccuracy. We have h5. Striking in on the king side, asking Magnus what they're going to do. We have g5, not taking, instead pushing. Kind of an engine move, but Magnus also plays it. Might be because this is a Magnus engine, not the actual person, but whatever. Takes, takes, and h4. This is one of those engine moves that I don't really understand, but I guess it's good. I mean, it's the best move. We have knight a4. And rook g8. Bishop e1. Great move. Attacking the pawn. And now Magnus. No, not Magnus. Stockfish plays bishop e7. We have bishop takes. And rook h8. Attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back. And now Stockfish takes that pawn. And now bishop takes a6. It's apparently a miss. Because of this move. I guess it puts some pressure. They're you're kind of forking the pawns here. So that might have been a better move, but here, and it takes. The point is, if Stockfish was to take back, then Magnus would just take this rook. This, not the rook, this knight with the rook. And now they're probably going to win yet another pawn. Stockfish instead goes bishop f5, which apparently is a mistake. It sacrifices another pawn. So right now, Magnus Carlsen is just up two pawns against Stockfish. And now Stockfish has goes knight e5. Yes, casually bringing the knight into the game. As you can see, Stockfish has placed all their pieces on the king side. So they're probably preparing for a huge attack. At, I can't talk today. A huge attack. Who knows? We have rook c7. Great move. And Stockfish plays bishop g4. Attacking the rook. Rook c1. And now knight f3 check. King g2. And rook takes h2. I mean, and the next move, it's pretty damn, <laughs> it looks pretty damn crazy. We have King G3. <laughs> like, look at this. I would never have the balls to play this. Like, the king <laughs> is surrounded by all pieces but one rook. 
But the funny thing here is, it's still a draw. Like, Stockfish is just up 0 0.28 in the evaluation. Like, there's nothing here. Stockfish doesn't have any mates. And that is if Magnus only plays the correct moves, of course. We have Bishop h5, and now Rook one c4. Um, and why can't you take this pawn? This is something I wondered. It's because of this check here. When I initially looked at the game, yeah, because you can take the knight now. That's why taking that pawn isn't possible. Because once you take, then you will lose this, this of course. So, a pretty damn crazy looking move, but it works. It does the trick. I would never have played this myself, just saying. We have e5, knight c3, and e4. I have no idea what's going on. The rook is still under attack. Now, Magnus takes the pawn, and Magnus is up two pawns yet again. We have bishop h4 check. Nothing's hanging right, no. King f4 only move. And now rook takes f2. We have knight takes e4, attacking the rook. Rook back to f1, of course. If they move the rook somewhere else, then the knight would be lost. Not because of this, but because of some unknown reason. No, all oh, right, that would just lose a rook. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but whatever. Move the rook back. Bishop c6 check. We have king f8. And knight g3. Attacking the rook. Rook goes back to f2. And now knight takes the bishop. So here, now Magnus is up a piece. But Stockfish plays the winning move, knight d2. Or maybe it's not winning, but it's the only move that's kind of even sits out. Yeah, and here Magnus brings their bishop back. Stockfish takes the bishop. It's actually just a free bishop. King g4 is now possible. And knight e5 forking the rook and the king, of course. Stock, uh, Magnus takes the bishop, and Stockfish takes this rook. Magnus takes back, and Stockfish plays rook e2. So now, once the, all the dust has settled, we have an end game where Stockfish has two rooks, and Magnus has a knight, a rook, and three pawns. And this is Fiorel. The, yes, the draw actually. We, uh, this is how it played out. We have knight f4, we have rook takes, a4, king going in, b4, king in, a5, rook a3, knight e2, rook g8, rook uh, c6, king e7, knight f4, and rook a g3. This might look kind of scary, the king is kind of stuck over here. The rook can give some checks. However, there's no mates, nothing to worry about for Magnus. So we have knight d5 check, king d7, and rook b6. We have rook a8 g4 check, king h5 on the move, rook g5 check, king h4, and now rook g1. We have knight f6 check, knight king c8, rook c6. And king b7. And now we have rook c1. The point is, this might look like it blunders a rook initially. However, this rook is hanging. And this is still just a draw. So we have rook, rook 1, g2. And now rook c2. Which once again offers the same thing. Takes and we take the rook. And here they actually agreed to a draw. Stockfish with 10 seconds just decided to agree to a draw. And Magnus was like, yeah, sure. But, however, since this is a draw, I actually wanted to show you how this was played out. So I set up Komodo Dragon and Stockfish to play out this endgame. So here, Komodo Dragon is actually Magnus Carlsen. They just decided to play out the game. So this is what happened. So they just slowly but surely took the pawns, and here... Stockfish has a rook and a king, versus Magnus has one knight. You might think this is a win, however, it isn't on engine level. It's just a draw, and it's just slowly but surely played out. Yeah. And eventually, 
um, somewhere. Yeah, here's the <laughs> Stockfish just gave out. They gave their rook for free, but it's a draw since a king and a knight can't check my to king. So that's all for this game. If you wonder about the accuracy, it was actually surprisingly high. We have Stockfish playing with 97.3% accuracy, and this is with only 10 seconds, which I think is kind of crazy. And we have Magnus Carlsen playing with 96.9% accuracy. A pretty damn crazy game. And yeah, well, this is kind of sad, but uh, a computer, a super computer like Stockfish with 10 seconds can actually keep up with some of the best humans ever lived. Yeah, so that's a depressing conclusion, but whatever. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Peace out.